Aloha from Kilipohe, Ike Kani Rahua. Halipohaku. I'm not really sure where we left off the last time, so I'll just kind of give you a general update. Um, I bought some boards to do um, some trim work with, and these are, that's what these are. I just primed them today. They're sitting out here drying. I'll put some top coat on them and then cut them for trim to go around the um, to go around the windows and door. Um, my neighbor Shan was a real good guy and got me a chainsaw, which I tried to use the other day. I thought it was brand new, and it turns out it was not. So it took quite a while to cut down this sohia tree. Um, but in the end it did fall and it fell pretty much exactly where I wanted to. So there's the poor girl's stump right there. Uh, these are some larger branches I'm going to trim back for different posts and sticks, maybe a walking stick or something. Uh, it fell, you know, from here and was well into that uh, Luhe greenery over here when it came down. So it was probably, I want to say about 35, maybe 45 feet tall. Uh, it was really windy today. This, this branch came down a couple of weeks ago, but something else came down earlier today. I was going to come back here and take a look. But uh, I didn't want to come back here when it was windy because something really went smash crash. That branch on the left, that came down a couple weeks ago as well. But yeah, I think it was this one on this pile that came down. It's the the branch, the tree that uh, is kind of hang up in that really big one, just the one to the left. I'm not going to go back in there because I don't want to get hit by a fallen over here. It's not, or Albizia. It's not terribly windy right now, but uh, I need to chance it for now. Um, sprayed for fire ants. Here's an Albizia, baby Albizia. Of them. When they're this big, you can just kind of pull them out and they'll die. Yeah, yeah that's all. So, all that'll be easier. We'll put them back here on the compost pile. And we'll provide ni nitrogen for the, uh, but you can see there's another one, another one, another one. It's no wonder they take over because. If there's any open ground, they just grow like crazy. Okay, what else do we do? Uh, came in and uh, tried to poison a few trees in the back in here. Kind of clean that out. Once I get the part for that chainsaw, I'm going to take down all these ohia trees. Um, but I was, the other day I was, um, I was kind of doing clippings for ohias and I realized I had pretty much gotten all the ones that are close to the ground. See, they grow way up there. And so uh, I couldn't, I couldn't make any clippings because all of the parts were up high so uh, that's why I brought down that one big ohia tree so uh, up here are the posts this is the trunk from the ohia tree and uh, it's super strong wood this thing weighs probably I don't know 150 pounds it was difficult to get up here and these are 14 feet long, both of them, over 14 feet. I think the longer one is like 15 feet, the big one. 
So, um, that was a pretty big tree. Breaks my heart. Uh, water system's working really good. Uh, I put all the tiles, these are all the tiles from all over the property. Put them here for safekeeping. Also to kind of get cleaned off when I shower. This is where I shower at night. Stand on this rock. Uh, and um, so they'll get cleaned off slowly. But the big, big work, which is the last couple of days, is the porch roof. So I'm sure I talked about the porch. A uh, nice little place to put my shoes and stuff, but of course they still got soaking wet because they're out in the rain. But now there is a roof on it. And it's got actual roofing. It took a while to come to the design. It's about a five degree drop. Uh, I haven't even seen it from the road yet. About a five degree drop um, from the horizontal, so water should run off it okay. I'm gonna put a little, not necessarily a gutter, but a little piece of flashing around the left hand or right hand side so that uh, water gets run off to the side instead of running you know, back into you as you're walking in. I, I don't know that it'll matter, but we'll see. Maybe that Ohia tree will like having the extra water. But there she is. I got the light on there. I'm hoping whatever flashing or whatever I choose to uh, put on there uh, doesn't cover over the light, the solar panel on the light. There's one other little piece of work that needs to be done. And that is a, a piece of flashing up on top to, uh, to shed water. Um, from the side of the building so it doesn't go between the the roofing and you can see there's a little gap in there but there's a flashing that goes on there so but i have to actually bend that flashing i don't I didn't buy it so and uh it's pretty sturdy i wouldn't stand on it of course i didn't want to stand on the other roofing either but these are these brackets are held in with uh, four big three-inch screws that go all the way into a beam inside. Um, oh, I don't know if I updated on this door. This is the final door. Finally, Home Depot had some, so I went and bought one. It has a nice window. I'm not going to take you inside because the place is filthy dirty from walking in all day, getting tools. But uh, that's the final door, and it's got a, you know, a door lock, doorknob lock, and a uh, deadbolt. And the deadbolt requires a key on the inside to lock it, so you can't just smash the window and reach in it and unlock the door. Um, and so that's about it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough room for the for the trim here. Uh, if not, I'll just notch the trim to go around that. But uh, there she is, nice place to stand, or maybe I'll put a little chair out here. Not quite enough room for rocking, but there's a place to at least stand a little bit. Okay, that's it for tonight. Tonight from Kilipohe. <laughs>